Welcome to the MATLAB and Simulink Pass Competitions Hub. In this video, we're going to be covering how to use Simulink to program your VEX EDRB5 robot hardware. The agenda for today is, first we're going to be covering how to install Simulink support for the VEX EDRB5 robot brain. Then we're going to be looking into how to install the MATLAB VEX companion app, which is a tool we're going to use to navigate through the various examples and libraries that are contained within the Simulink support for VEX. Then we're going to create a basic tank control model and upload it to a VEX Globot robot. And after that, we're going to be covering the transition between a tank robot control implementation into an arcade robot control implementation. By the end of this video, you should be able to open up Simulink, create a VEX EDRB5 Simulink model, upload it to your robot brain, and also program arcade and tank robot configuration. And if you don't yet have MATLAB or Simulink installed in your computer and you make part of a student competition such as VEX, Best Robotics, or RoboCup and RoboCup Junior competitions, uh, you can check out the links in the description to go to your MathWorks student competition page and request a complimentary copy of MATLAB and Simulink. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and move into the software demonstration and show you how to install all the necessary tools and upload a Simulink model to the like CDRP5 robot. Once you have opened MATLAB, we are going to go to the tool strip and find the add-ons button. If you click on the drop down on the add-ons menu, you will see get hardware support packages. We're going to click here. In the add-on explorer, we're going to type VEX and hit enter. And then we can select to install between the ARM Cortex based VEX microcontroller or the simulating support for the VEX CDRB5 robot brain. We're going to select the VEX EDRB5 robot brain. And then we are going to go to the right side and click on the install button and then click install again. You will have to accept the software license agreement and then click next through the installation menus. Once the support package is successfully installed, you will see the window that says installation complete. And you can go ahead and click on setup now. And this is going to bring us to a window to install the VEX Companion app. Now you can also independently search and install the VEX Companion app from the Add-ons Explorer. But if you click the Open Add-on Explorer button in this window, it will automatically bring you to the file exchange submission. And then you're going to want to click Add on the right hand side of the Add-on Explorer. Accept the license agreement. And you have now added the VEX Companion app. In order to start programming uh, the VEX EDRB5 robot brain, we're going to go back to the MATLAB window and we're going to click on the Apps tab. In here, you should be able to find the VEX Companion app. You can open up all the apps in your current MATLAB installation and you can click on the Start to make it a favorite. Uh, we're going to open up the VEX Companion app and this application will then um, show up in your MATLAB desktop. You will see that you have tabs for the VEX Cortex, the VEX B5, Virtual Worlds, and Learning Resources. If you don't have any one of these resources installed, it will prompt you to install it before you can access the examples. If we click on the VEX B5 tab, we'll see that all of our examples are already populated. And you can open up any of these examples by selecting the example and clicking Open Example. Uh, for the purpose of this video, however, we're going to make a Simulink model from scratch. If you want to look at the library of blocks for Simulink, you can click the Open V5 Library button on the VEX Companion app, and this will bring the full library of blocks that we have available to program the VEX EDR V5 robot brain. You can double click on these subsystems, and it will show you uh, the motor blocks, the encoder blocks, uh, and then also things like the digital input and output blocks. And we're going to click the button New V5 Model. What this is going to do is it's going to create a new Simulink model with all the necessary configurations for you to upload it to the V5 brain. We're also going to open up next to it the V5 library. And in order to program a tank robot, since we have a robot with two motors, one on the left wheel and one on the right wheel, we're going to drag some of the gamepad joystick blocks so we'll drag that into the Simulink Canvas. And then we will also drag from the actuator subsystem the smart motor right block. 
you can rename the blocks by clicking on them and then clicking on the label and changing it to a different name like uh, left joystick we're gonna create another one that says right joystick and the same for the motors you can connect the simulating blocks by clicking on the arrow pointing outwards of the block and dragging it to the input of the other block we're gonna do this for both of these and then we're gonna select the motor numbers that they are connected to so in our case the left motor is connected to port 1 and the right motor is connected to port 10 double click on the left joystick and select channel number 3 and for the right joystick we're gonna select channel number 2 since the motors in a robot are in opposing directions we're gonna have to reverse the signal of one of the motors to do this we're gonna click on the blank simulating canvas and we're gonna type gain we can immediately determine what gain we want and we're gonna try a gain of negative one so this will reverse the direction of one of the motors and then we're gonna drag this gain block and we're gonna locate it on the right motor so the right joystick and the right motor finally before we upload the simulating model to the brain we're gonna save it and we're gonna give it a name like tank control finally to upload the simulating model to your v5 robot brain uh, you just have to make sure that your brain is powered on and you have the USB cable connected to your computer and then you're gonna click the deploy to hardware button on the top right hand side of the simulating screen the upload process will take a moment and you can verify that your code is uploaded successfully by clicking on the view diagnostics link on the bottom of the simulating model you can see build process completed successfully now along with this you should be able to look at your uh, VEX robot brain and the program should now be run uh, so this is a brief demonstration of what our robot control look like when we program this model into the robot. You can see that the left joystick controls the left wheel in the robot and the right joystick controls the right wheel of the robot. This is what's commonly known as tank control. Now the simulating model that we just uploaded to the V5 brain was a tank control mode for a differential drive robot which meant that the left joystick controlled the left wheel as we can see on the screen and the right joystick controlled the speed of the right wheel now arcade control means that you're gonna want to control your robot by moving the body of the robot forward backwards and then rotating probably about the center of the robot this means that we're gonna be using one joystick such as the left joystick up and down motion to move the robot front and back and we're going to be using a different direction maybe right and left to control the rotation of the robot uh, in our case we are also going to optimize our resources by using both of the axes in one joystick so that we can control a robot motion with only one joystick moving forward back and rotating by using the left and right channels of the joystick so let's see how we can modify our current model to achieve arcade control now given our simulink model we are going to go back to our VEX companion app we're going to open the v5 library and in there we're going to go to the subsystem called utilities in here you will see that we have a block that is named arcade module now this block will take care of taking two signals from a joystick and then outputting the velocity for a right and left mode so we're going to drag this into the simulink canvas and now we're going to connect it respectively according to the joysticks and motors that we have so we're going to start by deleting some signals then we're going to move these motors around connect the right motor to the right output port and we're going to connect the left motor to the left output port and in this case since we're going to be using the left joystick up down motion and then we're going to be also be using the left joystick left right motion 
we're going to double click on the joystick block and we're going to change the channel to 4 and click OK. Then we're going to connect the left and right channel of the left joystick to the steer input of the arcade module block and the up and down channel of the left joystick to the forward and reverse input of the arcade module block. Go ahead and save this model with a different name such as arcade control and then you can click the deploy to hardware button to program this robot into your robot brain. It's important to note that you should give these models useful names because when they are uploaded to the V5 brain they're going to carry the name uh, in the program that shows up on the LCD. Now with this Simulink model uh, as you can see on the short video on screen the left joystick up and down motions are making the robot move forward and back while moving the same joystick left and right are going to be making it rotate counterclockwise or clockwise respectively. That brings us to the key takeaways section of this video. Uh, through this video you learn how to install and navigate the Simulink support for the VEX EDR B5 robot brain. You can do this using the add-ons manager directly in MATLAB. We also covered how to use the VEX companion app to make it easier to create VEX B5 models to be programmed into the robot brain. And finally we went over the difference uh, between arcade and tank robot controls using a gamepad joystick and we showed you how to upload both of those programs into a VEX B5 robot brain. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us using any of the resources in the screen. Our email is passcompetitions at mathworks.com and you can also join our Facebook group to stay up to date with the latest videos about Simulink and robotics.